Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today what we're looking at is a job that I did last year. I'm here just doing preventative maintenance, and I just figured I'd take a moment just to get a closer up image. But this is an air handler in a closet. So right here we have our P-trap. We have our clean out right here. Here's our bi-flow filter dryer. This is located inside the house so it doesn't rot on the outside or rust. This is the SS2 safety switch. The float's in the bottom so you can check it down there. And this is attached to the secondary drain port. The top one is plugged and this is the bottom one where we're actually draining out of. Here you have the entrance into the air handler for the liquid line and the exit for the suction line. We're not using this spot right here for the filter. I made a little filter rack down here, a slide, okay. Down here you have a custom made pan, uh, made the size for this closet. You can see our emergency condensate float switch. It has a large piece of foam. It's not a hollow piece of plastic. It's not a thin piece of foam. It is a large wide piece of foam and you see that I have the safety switch screwed in the very top of the pan and I have it tilted so it won't take as much water to come up in order for this float to end up tripping. This wide float would end up breaking the electrical line right here uh, you know even with the pan only halfway full of water so these screws are not in danger of being leaks or anything like that this is a two inch high hemmed pan and inside you have the black plastic feet so that if there's any water that goes down into the bottom it won't rise so you know these two red wires and the two wires going to the SS2 safety switch up above those ones are actually breaking the red wire from the air handler to the thermostat so if either one of those goes off then the thermostat ends up going blank there's no batteries in the thermostat that I have here the customer will know immediately to call service. So you should never have any water in this pan. I don't like having a drain on this because once again there never should be any water in here and if there is water in here I want to know. Uh, that means that there's a problem. I don't want it to just drain out of a port somewhere and nobody knowing that the uh, problem is occurring. If you want to know how I made this pan without cutting or soldering the edges right here, these are all bent all right, so this pan does not have to be water tested. It, will, it won't leak. If you want to learn how to bend that, I have another video on that. I have a link to the SS2 float switch down in the description below. This safety switch is a Hartel safety switch. Now we're going to go ahead and blow out this condensate trap down here. used about 40 psi. Now we're going to go ahead and fill this back up with water. This way our trap has the water weight in here. Here's the outdoor heat pump uh, that is connected to the indoor air handler I was just showing you. As you can see we put this up on solid block. We dug down past where you have all this mulch chat. It's no good to just set this pad down on the mulch and think about what they're going to do next time. They're going to end up throwing more mulch down and the mulch will keep coming up, keep coming up, maybe into your outdoor heat pump. So we just wanted to make sure that we got down to solid dirt, put the solid block down, brought it up. Then we put the outdoor heat pump pad on top of the solid block just so that the outdoor unit wasn't setting directly on the concrete. We have this for the, uh, the thermostat wire connecting the indoor air handler to the outdoor heat pump. Just in case somebody were to hit it, it doesn't rip the thermostat wire, and then everything is secured together. So that's that. Hope you enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time at AEC Service Tech Channel.